So hopefully by now you've all gotten out your take home quizzes. This is take home quiz number one. You're gonna be getting another quiz today. The quiz that you get today was gonna to be due Tuesday next week. Your test is Thursday next week and we are done vectors. So mark your own. Here we go. After walking 12, mi 12 kilometers due north from a camp, hiker then walk 16 kilometers due east. What's the total distance? Distance, scalar, 12 plus 16. 28 kilometers, one mark. B, find the displacement. You know what? I see directions. I better do a compass rose because you know I've screwed that up before. I see 12 north, and I'm going to add to it, tip to tail, 16 to the east. I think the resultant, the displacement, I'll use the letter D, is that. How can I find the magnitude of the displacement? That's going to be Pythagoras. It's the hypotenuse of the triangle. So I'm going to go 12 squared plus 16 squared. Square root. Oh, good gosh. Works out evenly. 20 kilometers. That gets you one mark. And then we need a direction. I'm going to find this angle here. By the way, that angle there is going to be east of north. Let's see, this is opposite, this is adjacent. It's going to be tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent. Fifty-three degrees east of north, or thirty-seven degrees north of east. One mark for the magnitude, 20. Half mark for the degrees, 53. Half mark for the east of north, or half mark for the degrees, 37. Half mark for the north of east. A, a motorboat heads due east at 18 meters per second across a river that flows due north at 12 meters per second. I better draw a picture. This river flows north, so this river is going to look kind of like that. The boat is heading east at 18. The river is flowing north at 11. I think the resultant is going to look like that. The resultant is going to be Pythagoras to find the magnitude, 11 squared plus 18 squared square root, 21.1. There's my angle theta, opposite adjacent. I think I can go tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. And I get 31 degrees uh, north of east. Or I would also take 59 degrees east of north. That would be if you found that angle there. Now, if I'd asked you to find the, uh, the v re resultant velocity relative to the shore, you would have to use that angle there, because that's the one that's touching the shore. You would have to say uh, 59 degrees relative to the shore. But I didn't. Here, I gave you north, east, south, and west. But on the test, if I don't give you north, east, south, and west, like we did in, our, in the example that we did in our lesson when we looked at applications, call it relative to the shore. B, how long? You know what? We're going to use D equals VIT plus a half AT squared. But our distance is this distance here. 155, which means I better use the velocity in that same direction. Oh, and we're going to assume, acce assume acceleration is zero. So if I want to find time, it's going to be distance divided by velocity. The distance, 155, divided by which velocity? 18. That's the one that's in the same direction as the distance.
8.61 seconds. How far downstream? Okay, downstream, we're talking about that distance. That's going to be V times T, yes, plus a half AT squared, but A is 0. Where'd the VI go, Mr. Duke? Well, if A is 0, I got a constant velocity, so V initial equals V final equals V average equals V. Which V? In the same direction as the distance that we're looking at. So it's going to be 11 times the answer from B, 8.61. And I get 94.7 meters. It'll drift 94.7 meters downstream. One mark, one mark. Turn the page. I've just turned the page. I see compass directions. I better draw a compass rose. A force of 100 newtons pushes 67 degrees west of north. How do I draw that? I'm going to draw north first. I'm going to go west of north, 67 degrees. It says find the horizontal and vertical components of this. Usually we found the horizontal and then the vertical. I think this time it's going to be easier to draw the vertical first. I'll call that Fy. And then the horizontal, I'll call that Fx. Opposite. Oh, this is 100, hypotenuse adjacent. To find Fx, that's going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Sine of 67 equals horizontal divided by 100. This is a little different because up until now, I think almost every time the vertical has been sine and the horizontal has been cos. This time, doesn't look like it. Oh, Fx is going to be 100 times the sine of 67 92 92.1 if you said I'll just go with 92 newtons I think cosine of 67 is going to be vertical over 100 I think vertical is going to be 100 cos 67 I think it's going to be Hey, I'm just going to go backspace and change the sign to a cos. 39.1, or just 39 newtons. What about the directions, Mr. Duick? You know what? The components include the directions. You could say uh, for a direction for vertical, north, and you could say for horizontal to the left, west. That's fine. A sled is being pulled along the ground with the rope. The rope makes an angle of 75 degrees with the ground. You know what? There's the ground. There's the rope. 75 degrees. A force of 98 newtons is exerted on the rope. So there's a force. Find the components. I think this time I'll find horizontal and vertical this way. Uh, where hypotenuse opposite adjacent. To find horizontal, it's going to be cosine this time. It's going to be cos of 75 equals opposite over hypotenuse, sorry, adjacent over hypotenuse. Fx is going to be 98 cos 75. 98 cos 75. 25.4. And it's force, so it's newtons. One mark for that. Uh, sine 75, yes, that's sine, Doug, not sin, is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. It's going to be 98 sine 75. Ninety-four point seven, 
And remember, whenever I find components, if it's a right angle tra triangle, I can always do a quick check. I can see if Pythagoras works. 25.4 plus 94 point uh, squared plus 94.7 squared equals square root. That should be really close to 90. Yeah, it is close to 98. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yay. The last one. A hiker walks 15.6 kilometers at an angle of 65 degrees south of east. First, I got to draw it. South of east means go east first. Go south of east. How far? 65 degrees. How long? 15.6. So I'm going to break this up into... I'm not going to use F for force, it's a distance. Horizontal distance to the east, vertical distance south. Opposite, hypotenuse, adjacent. You know what? Again, this time, cos 65 gives me adjacent over hypotenuse dx, or you could call it d east if you really wanted to, uh, that's going to be 15.6 cos 65, 6.59, uh, 6.6, .6. and it's kilometers, yes, yep. Yeah. Uh, sine 65 equals opposite over hypotenuse. Sine, 14.1 kilometers. Uh, one mark, one mark. Uh, if you added a direction, you could say east, and you could say south. I didn't really ask for directions. I just said find the components, which suggests find the magnitude. So I'm not going to be too fussy. Can you give yourself a score, please, out of uh, 13? Oh, forgot to put my name on here. Good old Anne. You can explain that to my TOC. And I got, I hope, 13 out of 13. That's assuming I didn't make any mistakes. I'm doing this after school in a rush. It's entirely possible that I did make a mistake. Who knows? Okay. Otherwise, you can now work on vectors quiz number two, which the TOC will give you in just a few minutes. You can also work on velocity vectors and navigation, which I gave you on Thursday, and I've told you which questions that you can do. And if I haven't said so already, you can now do every question in this velocity... Oh, not that one, Mr. Duick. You've already assigned that one. Come on, Captain Obvious. You can do every question on this handout called Vectors. Up until now, I had skipped 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. You can now do those. If you already handed it in, I haven't marked it yet, go find it in the back, and you can now do those. So the only ones I've nuked... Oh, you can also do number 16. The only ones I've nuked are 18, 19, and 20. There's some trickies here, some good nasties, some good challenges. Vectors, how you do math with directions. So, if you don't want any homework for the weekend, and I know you don't because it's supposed to be sunny, finish the take-home quiz in class, make good use of it. Please, uh, could you pass the quiz number one inwards, and if the person in the middle can put them in a nice neat pile, all facing the same way, and then just put them in the appropriate uh, block folder at the back there where you always hand in my stuff for me, that would be much appreciated. I miss you folks. I am enjoying my robotics, electronics seminar though, because you know I'm an uber mega nerd, and how can I resist a chance to learn how to build little electronic gizmos for cheap. If you have any questions, I'll be around Monday, and you can come check in with me then. Oh, yeah. Uh, block H students that are on my hit list for missing assignments, I guess you don't have to do your detention today after school. Lucky you. Yeah. <laughs>